Scientists have developed clothing that can actually cool you down. And we might need this. The world is getting hotter, and we haven't done enough to change that yet. This simple fact means that we need to start looking into ways that, to deal with a hotter world, at least until we can change our current trajectory. One everyday object that we may need to rethink is the clothing that we wear. Well, at least the fabrics that they are made out of. Recent work has shown that by introducing nanoparticles into clothing, that the clothing can actually cool you down. But how does this work? Let's discuss it. We heat up because of the ambient temperature and from the sun constantly bombarding us with radiation. One troublesome form of this light for our skin is ultraviolet radiation. This light sits just above the visible spectrum in frequency, that is, it has a little higher energy. And this additional energy is what makes UV radiation bad for us. In sunscreens, there are compounds that can either absorb or reflect this light, protecting our skin. Likewise, when we are trying to cool down, we emit radiation in the infrared spectrum. If something is reflecting this light back onto us, say the clothing we are wearing, then it becomes difficult to cool ourselves. We do have other methods, like sweating. But on a really hot day, we want any advantage we can get. So ideally, we want clothing that will reflect UV radiation while being invisible to the infrared spectrum. Unfortunately, this doesn't really exist, at least not to a significantly high level. And thus, scientists have turned to nanoparticles. Nanoparticles are a collection of atoms that have a size somewhere between 1 nanometer and 100 nanometers in diameter. These particles have many different shapes and are of interest due to having a large range of different qualities. Importantly, the properties of the nanoparticles can often be changed not only through changing the atoms, but also through changing the size of the nanoparticles or their surface. These parameters can often be tuned through chemistry and as such have some ease in scaling up to commercial quantities. Here, scientists use a few different nanoparticles, a titanium oxide and polylactic acid composite woven into textile laminated with a thin layer of Teflon. They choose the size of the nanoparticles, such that they would reflect incident UV radiation in the case of titanium oxide and Teflon, and be transparent to infrared in the case of the polylactic acid, which is shown in this graph. The titanium oxide and the Teflon is chosen such that they maximally reflect solar radiation. In the case of the titanium oxide, the scientists identified an optimum of 500 nanometers. These nanoparticles are then woven into the fabric such that they can be used with normal manufacturing methods. The overall result of this fabric is that it is capable of significantly lowering your temperature when worn. The scientists were able to show after 30 minutes of sitting in the sun, a three degree difference between the temperature emitted from an individual wearing a top half made of a normal fabric and the other made of this new nanoparticle fabric. And furthermore, they showed that practical application tests demonstrated that the human body covered metafabric could be cooled down to approximately 4.8 degrees cooler than that covered by a commercial cotton fabric. They also showed a similar result by using the material to cover a model car, which showed a massive 30 degree difference after only an hour and a half of sunlight exposure. Additionally, this type of fabric doesn't just work in sunlight. The same group has also shown that these radiative cooling textiles can have a cooling performance equivalent to more than two degrees inside. Not only does this fabric reduce your temperature, but it's also breathable while simultaneously being waterproof. Here the scientists managed to use the fabric as a waterproof membrane while still being able to push air through the fabric, making the bubbles. Clearly, this type of material has many applications. This has been an excellent demonstration of the possibilities of utilizing nanotechnology to custom design qualities into materials for everyday life. There is certainly more improvements to be made on this design, and maybe one day soon we'll be able to purchase the clothing that will cool us down. Thanks for watching. Have fun. See you later.